Why do I have the black skin? Oh, Ayaka! Guess who fulfilled all your wishes? Ah, this is a cutscene. Huh? Ayaka! Huh? Why do I have a bad uh -huh. feeling? Traveler, Paimon. It is a pleasure to finally meet you both face to face. <laughs> so for me, I thought, I don't know why, like the Sogun appeal and... But I guess we finally meet her face to face. Yeah, I'm gonna skip her banner. I have heard all about how you helped our three friends. My sincerest thanks to you. Yeah, short of getting them their visions back, it seems like there's no way to really help them. Um, Ayaka, how come this time you get to come out and meet us in person? <laughs> because now that you have done the three things I asked of you, I consider you to be my friends. As you will observe, I dispense with the screen for Toma also. Mm-hmm. Wait a second, but isn't Toma your, um, servant? Paimon's happy to help and all, but Paimon sure as heck did not sign up to be a servant. Oh, <laughs> Paimon, you are most entertaining. Toma is first and foremost my friend, and was so before he ever became my attendant. Oh, okay then. Ayaka? You seem pretty different out in the open compared to how you are behind the screen. Hmm. All right, we can be friends. <laughs> Thank you both kindly. Back to the matter at hand. You have now witnessed the pain of those deprived of their visions. What are your feelings on what you have seen? Perhaps in the eyes of a deity such as the almighty Shogun, the lives of those who inhabit the world are inconsequential. Thunders roar, lightnings flash, the winds assault, and the rains descent. All these things take place with no regard for the feelings of the common people. But I believe that surely you understand what they must endure. Yeah, although I was forced to this, it seems that perhaps now you can appreciate my feelings on all of this. In which case, perhaps you would be willing to reconsider your stance? Really? I mean, I knew that these choices don't matter. I mean, to be honest, the same thing is kind of like that a travel is still mute to some extent. I think the same thing, just make him a regular character with the voice and in that. I mean, Honkai is supposed to play as the respect character and they have voice lines in that. You will? Really? Naturally. <laughs> Alright, bravo, my lady. You were right all along. See? I told you he wouldn't reject them. I'd place my trust in the right person after all. Now then, given that the remainder of our discussion pertains to matters of a more confidential nature, perhaps we can move to the Kamori Tea House? We ought not to involve other members of the Yashiro Commission. Oh, they are telling me directly there. But I don't know why the catching kind of. I'm gonna set up a little low some of the setup, but... Hmm. Well, here we are again! Please continue without me. I'll keep watch. So, what's the deal with this place anyway? What makes it your favorite meeting spot? This is a land that was gifted to the Yashiro Commission by the Shogun. 
The Kamisato clan has the exclusive right to plan, build, and repair any property on this land. And even to allow or deny access. Such privileges exist due to the Yashiro Commission's role in managing ceremonial affairs. Oftentimes, it is not appropriate to discuss details in front of bystanders. Oh, Paimon gets it! Gotta keep a bit of mystery, right? Once the number of ceremonial affairs conducted in the city began to decline, our forebearers built a tea house here. Only members of the Yashiro Commission are permitted to come and go as they please. Makes sense. Perfect place for a secret base. In any case, we can talk freely here. I presume you have a few questions that you wish to ask me? The Almighty Shogun. I've seen her on but only a few occasions, most of them formal ceremonies. She inspires awe, commands respect, and exudes a sense of absolute authority. But as I recall, there was something else about her that struck me even more deeply. It was her almost complete lack of any emotion. In that sense, she appeared to me to be less of a ruler and more of, well, an executive official, I suppose. Focused exclusively on her single goal of implementing eternity. Acting accordingly without feeling. Uh -huh. I mean, quick curious how the boy is gonna be. I mean, people are gonna leak out her stats and how she's gonna play out, but I'm curious how she's gonna act. The issue is this. For the vast majority of people, the Vision Hunt Decree is something that has no implications whatsoever. After all, it is but a tiny minority of people who receive visions. Moreover, it is not unknown for visions to spark jealousy in others. Because of this, the attitude of most people towards the Vision Hunt Decree is one of indifference. How can they be like that? Paimon's getting mad! Nevertheless, in addition to us, there was also the resistance on Watatsumi Island. Resistance? You mean like an army fighting against the decree? Yes. Many who have lost or fear losing their visions have rallied together under Sangonomiya on Watatsumi Island to form a resistance group. To say a little more about Sangonomiya, historically, there has always been some conflict between them and the Shogunate of Norokami Island, due to their different belief systems. But I do wonder whether there may be some other agenda behind their resistance movement, beyond merely fighting the Vision Hunt Decree. Really? Of course! We have tried on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, each time a proposal to repeal the decree arrives at Tenshukaku, it is promptly vetoed by both the Tenryo Commission and the Kanjo Commission, and subsequently scrapped. They invariably adopt a stance of unconditional support for the Shogun's decisions. They have no interest in discussing anything. It almost makes one wonder whether they had a hand in the Shogun's sudden decision to issue the Vision Hunt Decree. Okay, I have a thing that uh, uh, we can or may not have something to do with this. And a halfway. Ooh, ooh, Paimon has a question though! Oh? What would you like to know, Paimon? Have you got a plan yet to fight the Vision Hunt Decree? To be honest, we do not. Uh, what? Please. Do not forget that challenging the Vision Hunt Decree is tantamount to challenging a deity. Coming to terms with that is already a difficult step to take. So... so what are we gonna do? Well, for the moment, all we can do is try and reduce the harm that is being caused by this decree. For example, by providing Vision Bearers with safe refuge, or manufacturing counterfeit visions for them as a contingency measure. You're telling Paimon that there are people out there who can make fake visions? I mean, they are Don't just a decoration. the talents of the craftspeople in Hanamizaka. To the naked eye, their counterfeits are indistinguishable from the genuine article. 
I mean, look at John Lee and Wendy. Wait, Wendy was here? Oh yes, I want one. The problem we are facing right now is that Master Masakatsu, who was providing us with counterfeit visions, has recently been arrested by the Tenryo Commission. Darn! So they found out about it? Ugh. Yes. We knew it was not a long-term solution, and that it was only a matter of time before it would be exposed. But we cannot simply abandon Master Masakatsu. Okay, now here's the thing. Why make unto I don't know, hide them? Like, do they have to be out in the open to be seen? Like, I can have it in the pocket and no one will notice. Like, like I see with child, he has on his bed. If he take another costume or something and just cover the vision, done. You just have to cover it. Like, you can have deep in the closing, you're done. You don't have to be known as a vision user. At least you use like you'll be like a superhero. Exactly. I feel the same way. But given mine and Toma's identities as part of the Yashiro Commission, breaking him out of prison would risk dragging down the reputation of the entire Kamisato clan should we be caught. That would only serve to cast suspicion on any future activity we might seek to attempt. So we have to do it. I don't know why, but I feel more and more like a hitman or a fixer for this game. <laughs> By no means do we intend to place the burden of such a task on your shoulders alone. When you are ready, go to Hanamizaka and look for a fireworks shop run by the Nagunohara family. There, you will find someone who can help you. Firework, huh? Are we gonna meet up with the uh, Inazuma? Inazuma Amber? What is on? This is kind of weird. Why do you? Wait, you can see? This is kind of weird. By the way, guys, there's a surprise here if you look behind. There you go. 